risk management in aviation. First of all, we need to know what is risk. Fundamentally, risk is defined as likely consequence of a hazard expressed in terms of degree of probability of outcome and severity of worst foreseeable consequences. Similarly, hazard is defined as a condition, object or activity with the potential of causing harm to persons or equipment or performance degradation of persons or equipment. Whereas, probability is the likelihood that a hazard will result in a mishap or loss, including the likelihood of exposure to the hazard. Risk management is a process of identifying the hazard, analyzing the associated risk, and controlling the consequences, or rationally accepting the risk outcome. Aircraft apron on an airport has numerous hazards, which pose risk to aircraft operations. Look around and see how many hazards can you spot. Risk management methodology comprises six steps process, four principles of application, and three levels of application. Components of the six steps process are identify the hazard, assess the risk, analyze risk controls, make control decisions, implement risk controls, and supervise and review. In order to identify hazard, you should brainstorm. Use experience as a guide. Ask what can go wrong. Follow what if approach. Lastly, identify manageable elements. In order to identify hazards, focus on design factors procedures and practices, communication, human performance, working environment, and organizational factors. In order to assess risk, you must prioritize the risks of identified hazard based on probability of occurrence, frequency of exposure, and severity of possible loss. In order to assess risk, you must Use risk assessment matrix. Having assessed the risk, analyze the risk controls by considering the risk control option. Either to eliminate the risk, reduce probability of occurrence, or reduce the severity of the loss. At this stage, make controls decision and choose the appropriate risk control option. Decide the control application procedure. Also, select an alternate option. Most common risk control options are engineering technology, operational procedures, administrative measures, physical tools, educational awareness, and personal protective equipment. The next step in this process is to implement risk controls. Therefore, apply risk control measures and follow the identified procedure to achieve desired outcome. Last, but not the least, supervise and review. To that, supervise implementation of risk controls. Monitor for effectiveness of controls. Watch for changes, if any, and review the process if desired results are not achieved. Next comes four principles of application that are anticipate and manage risk by planning. Do not accept unnecessary risk. Accept risk when benefits outweigh the cost. Make risk decisions at the appropriate level. Lastly, three levels of application which are in depth for major tasks, deliberate for routine tasks, time critical or on the run. Please remember that risk management is not an additional task. It is, in fact, integral component of safety management system. It helps in taking informed safe decisions. Wishing you safe flying.